I saw this on Facebook, so it's not my creation, but I thought I'd give it a try. I fried some onions, some bell peppers, chopped up, until they got slightly brown. And then I took two, two and a half pounds of hamburger meat, and I laid it out, and I kind of pressed it flat, and I seasoned it. And then I took bacon, and I laid it out on a piece of foil. And I'm going to wrap all this with that bacon just as soon as I can get it get it done. I'll show you in a minute. Then you take all your onions and your bell peppers and you lay it across the tape top of the ground beef. Then you put your favorite cheese on there. And we're going to roll it. We're going to roll it all up together. Ends. Kind of keep it blocked up. Then we're going to take it over and roll it with the bacon. Now it's going to try to fall apart on you, so hang with it. <clears throat> hang with it, it'll gather itself back up here in just a minute. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it on this piece of foil so when I set it on the grill it'll make it a lot easier. Okay, we're gonna put we put the meat on. We've got a few poppers in there. We're gonna see what happens. It's been on an hour and it's now at 158 internal. The peppers are done. Okay, it reached 180 degrees internal. And I don't want to cook the hamburger meat any hotter than that. But the bacon didn't get quite as crispy as I wanted it to. Uh, but it's done. So let's cut into it. Yeah, that turned out really nice. Got your cheese and your onions and your peppers interwoven. Uh, it's perfectly done. The meat, I mean, is just perfectly done. 